Hello Blazers, this is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian with a huge ass pimple on his face. Sorry guys, it had to be addressed, it's the elephant in the room. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video guys, I'm actually going to be talking about something that a lot of people actually requested. And what I'm talking about in particular is my Russian university experience. Now what I mean is, uh, basically if you guys don't know, I graduated university recently and uh, the last five years I actually spent studying. I was in higher education, believe it or not. And I graduated as a professional translator and linguist. I study Chinese and I have a diploma of a Chinese translator and I cannot speak Chinese. <laughs> And yeah, I actually graduated recently and a lot of people have been texting me and messaging me and asking basically what was it like to study in the Russian university? What was it like graduating? What was it like like finishing final exams and stuff like that? What are Russian universities like and what was my experience? Now, before we get into this, I just want to say that this video is going to be, you know, purely coming from my perspective, from my personal experience with it. I cannot speak for all Russian universities. I cannot speak for the entirety of Russia and I cannot speak for all the faculties, different, you know, different majors and stuff like that. I can only speak for myself and what I experienced. Now, my graduation from university was very bizarre because, as you guys know, the coronavirus pandemic hit and essentially for the last few months of the university, I had to take classes through the internet and also I had to basically present my university thesis, my graduation thesis, also online. And I actually uh, recorded the entire thing on this camera right here and I have it. I have the files to prove it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell that my thesis was actually based around PewDiePie videos and their translations to Russian as well. I know it sounds like it's a lot, so I'll just uh, let uh, me from uh, three months ago take it away. Okay guys, it is officially 29 minutes before my uh, graduation thesis presentation. Am I the only idiot in the world that will spend the last 30 minutes of this time not preparing and rehearsing but, all, but actually shooting the video for my YouTube channel? Perhaps. They actually have like a community that asks you questions and rates your appearance and the way you present yourself So you gotta wear something nice. So I have this $60 designer polo by the way if you get that reference. And at the same time, I'm literally just wearing underpants. Because why the hell not? My thesis, which is not... This is not the thesis, this is the just the presentation text, by the way. My full thesis is like a hundred pages, literally. Not even being ironic. It's on PewDiePie and YouTube translation. So, uh, it's really just funny to me right now that people are, like, taking my thesis seriously and that there's gonna be actual, like, real translators and real people with real academic degrees listed into my thesis about PewDiePie. <laughs> I just think it's funny as hell and it's not like this is the first time, you know, this is like my second PewDiePie thesis now because this is like building on top of the other one. So let's hope I get taken seriously guys because if I don't, my life is over. My life is literally ru in ruins and PewDiePie is gonna be the one responsible for it. <laughs> okay guys, oh my god. <laughs> I already got changed because that entire process took like 10, 10, 10 hours. Guess what guys, I got a perfect score. I got an A uh, plus on my uh, on my thesis. And it was so cute at the end as well, everybody started like wishing each other all the best and stuff because this is literally the last thing I'll ever have to do for the university. Like the last time I'll have to actually try. I feel incredible right now. It's like such a big load has been lifted off of me. I don't know if that makes sense. But let's be honest, for each and every single one of us, college is like a very, very big sense source of stress. And now it's finally gone! Yes! I'm gonna get fucking wasted today. <laughs> Okay, so long and thanks for all the fish, am I right? And yeah, that is basically exactly how I passed my graduation thesis, my PewDiePie thesis. In a weird way, the coronavirus pandemic kind of led to me being able to record this because obviously if I was passing this graduation thesis in a normal classroom, you know, where there would be people, I wouldn't be setting up a camera in a tripod recording that. No, I would feel like, I would feel like an idiot. So thank you, coronavirus, for allowing me to make that video. <laughs> but what's more poggy, uh, complete poggers, I would say, is that actually my ex exams, my uh, final exams, my graduation exams got uh, completely cancelled. Uh, because of uh, because of Corona. So essentially we had no exams uh, We did have exams at the end of the final semester But we did not have any exams to like finish the university and to get the diploma So essentially we just passed our graduation thesis just like that and we that's that's it We were done. Another funny thing is that my university was actually going to have like a checkup like a governmental checkup like a governmental sort of uh, Review going on so essentially I think every five years every university every faculty has to be like checked by the governments and 
and uh, essentially the university has to prove that the way they teach is like you know fit into the standards of the of the country you know and we were supposed to have that uh, during our graduation year our graduation semester and you know our uh, every single day professors and everybody in the faculty and the university would tell us you know you better you better be good you gotta do this and that and that there's gonna be people coming over from the government governmental workers checking on you looking at you stuff like that but guess what that got cancelled because of corona too couldn't be happier, couldn't be more fucking happier, honestly. So yeah, that's how my graduation went. Now, if we were talking about actually what was my experience of studying in university, it was uh, it was actually a lot of fun. I have very, a lot of fun memories. I mean, I think I actually got a lot of uh, decent knowledge and a lot of things that are actually gonna be very useful for me in my lifetime. For example, just recently, I had to translate a legal document uh, for my bank. We had that subject in university and I was like, there you go, education is actually doing something for me. Again guys, one thing I want to mention is the price of education. I know that in the West, in the US and stuff like that, university, you know, gets very expensive, colleges get extremely expensive, and, you know, people pay student loans until they're like 40 or something like that. Well, in Russia, the situation is a little bit better, I mean, it really depends on the city, because in Moscow, for example, uh, the university uh, fees are actually insane as well. Insane by Russian standards, I mean, of course, you can't compare because you have different currencies, the salary here are lower than in the West than in America, for example, the minimum wage is lower. So just for context, okay, me, I studied in the Chilean State University and I paid about, um, well, the price of my education, like it, it basically increased every year. So I, I think I started with about 80,000 rubles per year of studying. And by the time I finished, my last year was uh, closer to 100,000 per year. So I studied for five years and I think I paid overall some like this. Uh, I'll put I'll put a number here in rubles and dollars. I can really be bothered to come right now guys honestly i'm gonna do it in post again just like with my apartment video guys might, might be freaking out right now like oh my god that is so cheap that's insane that is true but that's not that's not always the way it is for example there's some universities in my city where uh the uh, education is much more expensive and also i know a guy who lives in moscow and we discussed this and uh he studies in one of the most well-known russian universities and uh, he told me that uh, his yearly payment for university was 500,000 rubles uh, which is essentially what I paid for a uh, full five years of my education. So that's fucking insane. You need to take into account that when I started studying, I did not have any money of my own. I was not really earning any money on YouTube back then. So, you know, my parents would never be able to afford something like that. You know, 500,000 rubles per year. That's insane. But yeah, overall, of course, I would say that, yes, Russian universities are less expensive than those in the West, those in Europe. But uh, again, you can't really compare it directly because the wages and the salaries in Russia are much lower. But yeah, the money that me and my family paid for my education uh, wasn't like insane. Okay, it was very much money you could get. So yeah, I don't have any like student loans or anything like that Thank God, you know one of those times where I'm super grateful that I'm not an American Actually times like that come up way more often recently now as far as my experience was in university um, I mean Russian University is basically just like any other university honestly uh, with the only difference being that um, We didn't have much uh, for like classes that we could choose So for example, we had situations where like faculty workers would come to us and they would like give us a paper we would had to sign and they would say that would basically give us a choice of between like two different subjects which one we want to study and stuff like that but uh it wasn't really a choice it was just like uh it was just like like voting for putin i guess so we had this like paper with two different subjects that we had to choose between and they told us which which subject to choose so because they didn't have a professor for that other other subject at all or it was just like a worse subject or a less useful subject so we're like yeah we're giving you a choice between two subjects but you really just have to choose this one because that's the only one we can actually provide very very symbolic of uh, russian elections i think but yeah other than that like it, i guess it's like any other college or university in the west or whatever uh, for me personally for my personal experience it was very stressful very hard and uh, i was very always tired sleep deprived especially since i had to you know study do my homework uh, and also make videos for my youtube channel at the same time it was really hard to you know do everything at the same time to find a balance and sometimes i would sleep three to four hours in a day sometimes even two hours in a day so i'd literally sleep every single class there's like tons of photos of me sleeping in class i was known for two years in university for like the two first years as the guy that just always sleeps in class and somehow all the professors were okay with it 
I don't know how. Like, I'm looking back at this and I'm cringing because I don't understand how this is possible. Now, there weren't that much bra moments in my university, I would say. I had a great time, you know, my faculty was great, my professors was great. Funny thing is, as well, a lot of my professors actually were aware of my YouTube channel, they watched me, which I think is really funny. I mean, I think the only real bra moments I would point out in university was, uh, basically, sometimes our professors were forced to push political messages down our throats, and I'm not talking about, you know, the right-wing uh, opinion that in Russia as well, like, Colleges are brainwashing, ch uh, you know, children and students into leftist uh, thinking. They're making all of us leftist soy boys, guys. I mean, I got comments. I got a ton of comments like that on my videos. For example, that video I made on Stop Idolizing Russia, a ton of people were like, oh yeah, he just went to college and he got zombified by the SGWs and feminists. He's like a soy boy now because he went to university and they pushed this Marxist socialist thought into his brain. This is why he supports, uh, you know, black people not being murdered by the police. Again, Again, absolutely not true because Russian universities are extremely conservative. I did not get brainwashed in university, I'm sorry. But we did have some moments where professors were literally made to shove some political bullshit in our throats. So, for example, what I'm specifically referring to, there was not much cases like this, but essentially, you know, I've, so I spoke about this on this channel, you know, there was a lot of waves of uh, Russian protests, I think, around, like, spring and summer 2019 and 2018. There were a lot of anti-governmental oppositional protests, like, anti-Putin protests, and they were being carried out around the entire country. And essentially, we had our professors, uh, you know, basically lecture us on the fact that we need to not attend these illegal events. So, usually, the professor would come into class and was like, hey guys, you know, I know this is a, you know, this is a crock of shit, but you know, they said I need to, you know, get this information out to you, so yeah, you know, don't go out to the protests against Putin, uh, this is a big no-no, it's illegal, it's not approved by the government. I actually went to one of these back in the day, I have a video on it, and I, I know plenty of people in my university, plenty of people in my faculty that did go to these protests. I don't think anybody got arrested or kicked out of university for it though, but there were stories like that actually in Moscow and St. Petersburg where people were kicked out of colleges, kicked out of universities because they got spotted and they got arrested at these anti-governmental protests. So that's messed up. But, uh, our, you know, our university was not that harsh in that, you know, I don't, I've not heard a single story like that. So, yeah, uh, I guess my university is pretty based. And I mean, yeah, I guess I would say that was the only bra moments I've ever experienced in my university when I was like, yeah, this is kind of yikes for me, chief. Overall, though, it was a fun time. Met a lot of cool people, even though I don't remember like two years of my life because I was just constantly sleeping. I had no life. I was only making videos and studying. I only started having a life like at year three, four and five of university. And yeah, now I'm finally finished with this and I'm a free person. I'm free to do whatever I want, uh, except, you know, Know, except for the uh, military drafts, you know, guys, actually, uh, the military draft season is coming up soon, and I'm gonna be actually doing the stuff uh, involving that. I'm ready for it, everything's gonna be completely fine. Uh, if anything, I'll make a video on it or something, and if it's not gonna be fine, then you guys have to wait a year for me to make videos again, and I'm gonna come back bald. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I guess that is going to be pretty much it for today's video on my Russian university experience. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please make sure to slap the motherfucking like button on it and as well, guys. If you want to support my channel, support what I do here, you know, support me, make sure to go over to the link down in the description to my Patreon, donate to it. I would gladly appreciate it. And also, you guys can go down in the description as well to my YouTube's link, buy my YouTube's. It also helps me out a lot. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.